Good morning, everybody. Stetson with Stetson Lanka here, guys. Today is Monday morning. It's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a great week. Uh, we're actually starting the day off with some rain. There's some rain showers up north, and uh, they might be coming down here, but we're actually going south about, you know, five, 10 miles. So we might be able to beat the rain, might be able to, uh, it might miss the area where we're going today, but it's 6.40 right now. Uh, the guys won't be at the shop till seven, so we still got 20 more minutes. So then I'll kind of have a better idea of where, where the shower is gonna go, but it's looking like regardless if it does rain it won't be much and we haven't had a rain in two weeks so should be just fine but how you guys doing today hopefully y'all had a great weekend i did i really just hung out in the pool and just chilled man took took the weekend off and enjoyed it uh it's gonna be a lot cooler this week apparently like like today the high is 89 and then we jump back up to like the mid 90s for tomorrow and the rest of the week but hey it's a lot better than 110 so that's what we've had the past month so I guess that heat dome moved out and uh, we're finally getting back to some more seasonable temperatures. And then, you know, in the next month or so, it's gonna start cooling down a lot. So I'm excited for that. I'm gonna get this video started and uh, tell you guys what's going on and everything. So let's hope that we can beat the rain, but regardless, we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, everyone, what's up? So we are at the like fourth or fifth yard of the day. It's this big corner lot yard. Got Fletch with us. How you doing, Fletch? Up, I'm good. Good? I'm tired. Tired, yeah. Great day. Yeah, uh, but it did rain on us a little bit this morning, but it uh, went away, so everything dried up, looking good. But we're gonna get to mowing, so let's get this one done. All right, everyone, so we have just finished up. Uh, guys are blowing off, and then we're gonna head to the next one. So we'll probably catch you guys in a couple yards because the next couple are small. So catch you when we get to a big one. So we're at the next one. It is the blue house with the fescue. The fescue kind of died off because, like I said, it's been like 100 degrees for the past month. Um, but we're gonna, either way, we're gonna mow it, try to strap it up, get it done. All right, guys, so just got this one all finished up and uh, the guys just blown off and then we're gonna head to the next one. We got a couple small ones till we get to some more bigger ones and then uh, we'll probably catch you guys there. But man, it feels so good outside. It's like 72 right now. It's been cloudy. The sun just came out. Uh, so you can see above me. It's partly cloudy, but regardless, it's gonna be a great day. High of only like 89, so I'm excited, but we'll see you guys in a little bit. What's up, everyone? It's been a couple hours since I've seen you, but we're at the uh, next one. It's this empty lot right here that we mow every two weeks. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so we got this one knocked down. Uh, I guess the neighbor's been spraying Roundup around the fence, so, cause it's all down here too, so we're not having to weed eat around that fence 
very much, but it takes about five minutes here. Next one is a little commercial, so we'll probably record there. So we'll see you then. All right guys, as promised, here is the next one. It is a little commercial building that's vacant. Just We just mowed this for the owners because we mow their house and a couple other properties they have. So uh, let's get it done. One thing I like is they let us use their dumpster. So if we ever have like bags of grass with us or whatever, usually just toss it in there. But today we have nothing, so let's get to it. Guys, we're here, and uh, the back got a new lock on it. And he he told me the code, but the code isn't working, so I'm not sure if he just typed it wrong. But I'm waiting to hear back from him, so we're kind of locked out for now for the back. So we'll see what we can do. Yeah, so just I uh, got in contact with contact with him again. He said that his uh, dad put it on, and he does not know the code. He said he he gave me two codes to try that his dad uses. Neither one works, so. I guess we're gonna unfortunately have to move on from this one and the back's uh pretty tall so unless he might be able to get his dad get a hold of his dad today but if not i guess we'll just have to skip it so uh, but anyway we're gonna head to our neighborhood that has a bunch of small houses small yards we usually take about an hour in there so i might record some of those i might not but either way we'll see you in a little bit we're at the uh one of the small ones that i can use the 36 toro in the backyard so that's what we're gonna do get to it everybody so we are at the last two of the day and coincidentally they're next door neighbors so we got that house in this corner lot these are every two weeks these are today monday's the only day we do bi-weeklies we have four of them so uh, we're gonna get these mowed up and call today so let's get to it All right guys, so just finished up this backyard. If you remember, I think my last video on a Monday, this was like full of water, but it hasn't rained in about a month. So it hasn't given us a good rain. So it's bone dry back here. We're starting to dry out, but starting to cool off also. So uh, we're finished here. I'll, so we're heading back to the shop after this, which is like two minutes away. So catch you guys at the shop. Okay, what's up everybody? So we are done. We are back at the shop. I have not backed the trailer in yet, but just want to show you guys some back down there. It caught my eye earlier. Uh, I was just glancing around the shop and I noticed, check out what season it almost is, guys. It is almost Christmas light season. We are fully stocked. I bought a bunch of supplies at the end of last year for this year. So I've got like a thousand foot of the socket strand and then I've got a bunch of bulbs and stuff in here. So I'm really excited, guys. We're getting real close to, uh, to Christmas light season. I'd say another 
let's see, what is it? It's mid-August, or beginning of August. We usually start installs late October, so we've got a few more months until we start installing some Christmas lights, but I'm so excited, man, because Christmas lights is probably my favorite time of year. I love just making the all the families happy that we get to put the lights on their houses, because, you know, their literally faces light up with, with smiles when they see the lights. Uh, no pun intended from, because their faces actually lit up from the lights on the house, but I'm just excited for Christmas light season. One of my favorite times of year, because you're not having to work in the heat, man. Uh, it's cooler, chilly on the mor in the mornings, and it's just fun. I love doing it. Something I really enjoy. So, a few more months until I get to do something that I really, really love. I'm gonna tell you guys the uh, one of the biggest mistakes I've made in business, which maybe you other guys can take from it, or uh, you other guys who are YouTubers, or if you're not a YouTuber, if you're posting on social media, regardless. This was like five years ago when I first started recording on YouTube, and I had a commercial property that I mowed, and I recorded mowing it. And for one time, there was like a bunch of trash everywhere. So I kind of badmouthed the, uh, I never s disclosed the location or anything, but I kind of badmouthed the, uh, the business. Let's just say it, it was a school. So I, I badmouthed the school and it definitely screwed me over because uh, somehow someone sent the, uh, the video to the school. Some, someone knew where the school was, I guess. So they sent the video to the school and the school, she sent me a message, she said, hey, set. We've been made aware that there's a YouTube video going around of you uh, showing how there's trash all over our property, like diapers and all this stuff. And uh, we don't appreciate that, so we'd like to suspend all services and terminate the contract. So that's the email I got from the school that I took care of. So that really made me re-focus like, my whole, my content around. I don't, show, I don't talk about customers that are at that time period. I'm always, every time I tell you guys about a customer, it's gonna be from the past. Uh, usually nothing, like my current customers, I usually have nothing, no complaints about them. So uh, every, every customer story you hear guys, or whatever you hear, it's always gonna be in the past. You know, clients that have screwed me over, or clients that I'd no longer work with for uh, whatever the case may be. Uh, so it's just something you guys can learn from my experience. Don't make a video bad mouthing the place, your commercial property, because once it's on social media guys, you know, it can be recommended to them or the family member of, a, of the, owner can see it or something They're like hey this is your school right so uh, i just learned a very valuable lesson that's to to not do that stuff anymore so since then we've been good we haven't lost any more clients because of the youtube videos and that's why i'm always respectful and ask the my clients if i can record get permission and all that stuff but yeah guys that is a very expensive mistake because that school was it was like 400 bucks a pop every time we mowed it every week and so that really it cost me thousands and thousands of dollars that i lost out on which sucks but you know it's okay Mistakes happen. I definitely learned from it. You know, I was a stupid kid. I think I was like 18 or 19 at the time. So, you know, had my head up my rear end and I was just being dumb, but I'm owning up to the mistake. I'm telling you guys now, and I'm just glad that I had this channel to, uh, to share with you guys all these experiences, but that's my story. That's what happened to me. And I'm just glad that I learned my lesson and hopefully you guys learned a lesson from that as well. But anyway, we are done for the day, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, call it quits, back the trailer in, and then we're gonna go home, so we will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.